Hey guys, some of you guys have been asking if I do a knee float tutorial and a knee float is, if you haven't seen it before, I do it in the Ellen's Dance Dare on one of my videos um, pretty often. So a knee floats when you're on the ground and it, it looks like you bounce up, you practically float up, knee float. So if you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. Step one, have your knee down and then have the other leg out. So either or, right or left. Step two, you're going to have your leg out and then you're going to arch your back and dip down. And I keep my head facing forward in the direction I am because it helps when you want the form in your back to be arched. And when, as you arch, you're going to lift your leg up and you're going to lift your leg up and you're going to bend your leg no more than 90 degrees. All right, so step three, you're going to be arched down and you're going to push off with your hands and you're going to kick down at, uh, at the same time. So in the, your kick form is that you're going to go, you're going to kick and you're going to straighten out your leg. So your kick is going to be like on an axis. So your legs on an axis and you're going to kick and push off at the same time while keeping your back arched to help you give that backwards momentum. Um, so this is what it looks like. Alright, so if you could see that, then you could see that I had trouble getting up um, halfway through. So, uh, something that you also have to do is you have to push push off with your leg as you go up. So right after, right after the push and kick off, like this, and you're up, like this, right? We're gonna use this leg to push backwards, also to help you get that lift. Otherwise, it'll look shaky like the examples before. If you're having trouble getting up and uh, and all that stuff isn't enough, then what will probably help you is if you if you dip down faster and get off the ground a little. So my dip is when I go up, I'm gonna kick up like this. So I what I do is I kick back and push off with my foot, and and I dip and kick off at the same time. So I always land on the inward foot and then I touch my knee. Because you wanna you wanna land on this so it doesn't hurt your knee as much. And then that'll help you get the extra momentum because you're coming you're coming down from a from a longer angle. Alright, so remember the steps and you should be able to get it within a week. This is a pretty simple move. And Post your comment below if you're having trouble. Maybe I forgot something. I probably forgot something because my first tutorial. Uh, but I hope it helps in some way. So I'll show you guys one more time. Dip, swing, up. And from the beginning, from the front position. Dip, swing, up. Alright, so that's the knee float.